ancient map of Scandinavia. The village of Flack is only a tiny dot on the sea coast. It is from this small village that our Vikings sailed forth to raid and plunder every settlement situated on a waterfront in Europe. They were always looking for adventure and treasure. Everyone would tremble with fright when the monstrous masthead sailed into view. Troubadour Ulm and Halvar, the Viking chief, along with his crew, are returning to their village. My son, Vicky. Why isn't he here to greet his father? I don't know, Chief. <gasps> uh -huh. I know where Vicky is. He's over there in the forest, running around with a wolf. My boy, Vicky, is running after a wolf? Um... Oh -ho. Uh, no, Chief Alva. It is the wolf who's chasing Vicky. Oh! Go away! Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
wife, I have returned. <laughs> oh, it's you, sweetheart. Oh, how good it feels to be home at last. Aha. I've brought you a necklace, rings of gold, and here's a conch shell for Vicky to blow. And also a cloth of pure silk and a bag of pure salt. I would have come to greet you, Alva, but I had so much work to do here at home. Ah, ah, ah. I'm eager to see young Vicky. I wonder when he'll be home. You haven't seen him. I thought he was at the port. He was not at the port. I thought his little friend Tiki was joking when she said he was in the forest with a wolf. <laughs> Vicky is running after a wolf in the forest? It's not Vicky who's chasing the wolf. It's the wolf who's chasing Vicky. My only son, a coward. I'm the chief of this village and Vicky by... is not a coward. He's very intelligent. I'm sure he will use his intelligence to trick that wolf. He is the son of the most powerful man on the village of Flack. The most courageous Viking of all. How can he be such a weak... Uh, when I was his age, I was never chased by a wolf. I was the one doing the chasing. The wolves were terrified of me because they knew I was Alvar the Terrible. No wolf dared to come near me. They were afraid to even look at me. They would flee if they got a whiff of me. I was so strong and so swift that at the end, I would always finish off the wolf. <laughs> ah, when I got a hold on a wolf, nothing could shake me off. He could drag me through deep water, run as fast as the wind, but nothing could make me lose my hold. Finally, it was always I who was victorious. And I did it in less time than it takes to tell it. Ah! I had a nasty reputation with the wolves, I can tell you. I became a living legend to them. A legend that was passed down from generation to generation. I'm sure that Vicky can put down the wolves as well as you, but he will use his brains, not his brawn, but the result is exactly the same. <laughs> Vicky will use his intelligence as a weapon. He's a coward. He lacks courage. I'm ashamed of him. I won't allow you to say that. He's a brilliant boy. Oh! oh Vicky, there you are, dear. Hello, Father. Welcome home. Ah! Ah! Vicky, mm -hmm. tell me, how did you escape from the wolf? Oh, I know every rock and tree in the whole forest even better than the wolf does. Ha! Ah, he's a lad both prudent and wise. He knows how to take care of himself very well. Yes, that's fine, but he doesn't act like a real man. Using his brain doesn't make him a coward. He uses his intelligence instead of force. Isn't that so? Yes, Mummy. Dinner will be I'm ready in hungry. just a moment. I could eat a wolf. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> Are all these things for us, Father? Ah, uh, using all my bravery and strength, I captured these treasures from the south. And this conch shell is for you, my son. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Father. Do you want me to tell you the story of how I seized that bag of salt, eh? Huh? Oh, yes. Tell me, Father. Ten days after leaving our native land, we launched an attack on the grand village of Vixelburg. You attacked the village of Vixelburg? Then what? Ah, yes, the chief of Vixelburg is enormous. Big man, brave as well. He lives in a castle surrounded by a moot. And from the tower, men keep watch in all directions. And flying high above the castle is a flag on which you can see a bull's head, a symbol of their great power. 
We fought with indescribable bravery. There were only six of us against 100 of the enemy. <laughs> with just one throw of my lance, I pierced the enemy chief. <laughs> then they offered us a mountain of precious salt to spare their miserable lives. Oh, that was a very exciting and interesting story, Father. Is this the salt you were talking about? Yes, it is. There is no salt in this bag. It's only sand. What sand? It's not possible. Eh? Huh? What the devil? You're right, it is sand. They've made fools of us. We've been hoodwinked. But I tasted it to make sure. And it was surely salt on the top. Perhaps you should have taken a sample to taste from the bottom of the bag. Vicky is right. You should be more careful, Alva, and think before you act. Huh? I don't have the time to waste on that nonsense. I am the strongest man in all the village. Thank you, Mummy. That's what makes you and Vicky so different, Alva. They couldn't trick him the way they did you. Very well. Vicky, we should fight a duel to see what works best. Your brain against my brawn. That'll prove who's best. Hmm? Well, all right, as long as I don't have to use my fists. What would you say to a contest moving a pile of stones? That would be something I've never done. Oh, that's a good idea. I accept the challenge. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that Vicky will be the victor. Ah! It's I who will win. No, it'll be Vicky. Perfect. If Vicky wins, I'll give you a necklace made with the teeth of a swordfish. And what will you give to me, Father? What can I offer you that would make you the happiest? I would like to go to sea with you. To learn of other lands. And to see you in battle. Agreed. If you win, I'll take you with me. Ah. <laughs> if you move the stones faster than I do, then you'll go on our next expedition. That's first rate, Father. Oh, no. You can't take a child on expeditions. I'm the chief, and no one will tell me what I can or cannot do. Then it's a promise, Father, huh? You have the word of the chief, my son. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I don't like this one bit. It's far too dangerous for Vicky. You have nothing to worry about. He can't win. Ah! Ah! Ah, but I'm sure that Vicky will win. <coughs> so Vicky and Halva held their contest. But how could Vicky possibly win? How can he move the pile of stones faster than his powerful father? Vicky and Halvar have taken position behind their stones. The contest is about to begin. The stones will be transported to the foot of that tree. The one who's finished first is the winner. Your pile of stones looks smaller than mine. All right, let's change places. Good, since it's your suggestion, son. Uh, just a minute. What is it now? From here, that pile looks much smaller. Very well, then we'll change again. In each pile, we put the same number of stones of the same size and weight. And I can carry two at a time, right? Yes, as many as possible. I'm sure that Vicky will win. Who do you choose? Oh, I think you're afraid to bet on it. Well, I'm absolutely sure that Vicky will win. I know oh, Alvar will I win. I dare you to repeat that. Enough of that, boys. We can't stand the noise. You'll have to make up right now. Get ready now. Get back, Chief. I was only warming up. Warming up? Nonsense. Is he still warming up? No, he's sounding the signal to begin. Ah! Oh, now here we go. Come on, Vicky. Hey, faster. Hey! Well, how's it going, my son? <laughs> These might be boulders to a milksop like you, but they're only pebbles for me. <laughs> well, you'd better hurry up, Father, or I'll finish before you do. Huh? What are you saying? It will only take me a minute to move that pile of stones. Ah! Forster Chief, 
You're way ahead. Oh, that's enough, you. Do you want to fight? Vicky? Vicky! What is it, Vicky? Are you tired? No, not at all. So you've given up, eh? Of course not. I'm working hard. Working hard? You must be joking, of course. No. You see, Father, it is my brain that is working. Well, I've never put my brain to work. Oh, go away. I can't concentrate when someone was watching. You are lazy and impertinent. Hey, Bax, can you see Vicky from there? What is he doing? I see him. He's lying down in the field. Why is he lying down? He can't be tired so soon. Well, of course the Chief will Quiet, win. Quiet, you. You're all asking oh, for yeah. it. Don't fight. Vicky will win in the end. Vicky is lost in thought. Ah. Vicky is back on his feet. Oh. Vicky's running. He's running back home. Ah, he's coming back with a cart. Vicky, what are you thinking of? He's driving in some stakes. Oh, I wonder why he's doing that. Ah! Mm. Oh, Vicky! He is very intelligent. Do you have any idea what he's up to? But you'll soon find out. a device on the principle of the catapult. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vicky got to.
haven't forgotten the promise that you made to me, Father. No, I haven't. Now I suppose I must take you to sea. For the great Chief Alvar never goes back in a promise. Oh, thank you, Father. My dear child, you're only a little boy, and I'll worry myself sick if you go to sea. Wait a few years. Oh, don't worry about me, Mother. I can take care of myself. You know that. Yes, indeed. And Vicky will make a first-rate Viking. Look at this helmet, the headpiece of a genuine Viking. <gasps> Is it for me? Oh, Father. Ah, <laughs> uh, this helmet was made especially for you, the smallest Viking ever. Uh... <laughs> It's perfectly. Thank you so much, Father. And with this on my head, I feel stronger already. Now I'll be left all alone. Oh, don't fret. We'll be back before very long. I'll take care of Vicky. He'll be safe in my hands. Uh, oh! <laughs> huh. What more can I say? Do as you will. Oh! Ah! <laughs> And so Vicky will go to sea with his father, the smallest Viking of them all, but the most intelligent as well. We'll follow him on his adventures. Join us next time.